Honestly, the recording process was super fun. Like, the people that we got to work with were awesome. Mm -hmm. this, I, I, maybe the hardest part was figuring out which songs made it to the album. Because we really, we had probably, I would say between 40 and 50 songs by the time we were ready to start narrowing it down to the album. And like, for us, they all meant something. You know, they were all very meaningful to us in, some, in one way or another. And I think that maybe narrowing it down to, you know, the 12, 13, 14, whatever, you know, narrowing it down to that was tough because we wanted them all to be on it, so. We really didn't want to get pigeonholed into that. We knew that we did it on the show, and you know, obviously, it was a, a successful thing for us to do because we got to look into each other's eyes and like, you know, cry to each other every night. And people like that, apparently. Actually, most of the songs are the opposite of that. They're pretty fun and upbeat. And but we do have we those do have a, yeah we have a few slow we have, sad songs. We wanted the album to have a bunch of different things because musically we like a lot of different types and so as writers we wanted to kind of show all the different styles that we appreciate and like to listen to yeah. and also like we wanted people to be able to buy the album and play it not just buy it as you know singles oh let's just listen to the one song we wanted yeah. them to be able to play it from start to finish and not just get bored of the same sound and we're hoping that when you you know go from one song to the next you're not like oh this sounds like the last one we're hoping that each song kind of has its own identity so Mostly just us in the video. There's like the normal lip syncing the song, but I think basically, what? It's no, true. It's true yeah. I mean, the song's about a lack of communication in a relationship, but you believe in it so much that it's worth working through and trying to make everything better. So it's pretty much just kind of Alex running across the city to fix things with me. Yep. Actually filming it made us fall in love with the song even more. There's like a moment in Malibu where we're in the middle of this field and it's I mean it's the our sun first was setting. Yeah. It's our first music video we've ever done and we're just like screaming this song and all the cameras are around and it was a just really, really cool thing yeah. to do. It was such a cool experience being able to be out there with like these amazing directors and producers and, and each other and I don't know, it was just beautifully shot. It was it was a great time. It was also really cool too because when we were coming up with the ideas of the video and just brainstorming, um, I had pulled up a bunch of music videos that I love and the director that we got is the one that was like 90% of the music videos yeah. that I loved. So it was kind of just a, an honor to work with him too. Philip Andelman was the director. He was the bomb.com. It was awesome. We played music or uh, video, video games, games with yeah. him like halfway through. Yeah, it was, it was great. great. <laughs> Oh man, it was amazing. Back in February, we got to go down to his house. He invited us for like two days, and uh, we got there and went to breakfast with a mutual friend. And we thought that we were gonna go to breakfast and then go to his house and sort of like, you know, introductions and hey, good to see you, you know, all that. But uh, he showed up to breakfast and he had just come in from surfing. And I brought my wetsuit because I knew that he liked to surf. And I told him I was like, yeah, man, you know, I brought my wetsuit in case you want to go. He's like, oh, let's go right now. He so, gave me his girlfriend's wetsuit. Yeah, so we, we went out <laughs> surfing with him, and it was just like, it was the craziest thing ever. He was such a cool guy, mm -hmm. super nice, super uh, just, you know, giving. Uh, yeah. He was a really great guy. Yeah, I think it was really encouraging for us to work with him, not only as artists, but as people, too. And, you know, there's all this, you know, stuff about the music industry. It'll make you jaded. It's going to change you. And he's really successful, and he's just a really nice guy. Yeah. Not just an artist, but just a nice human to be around. So it was really inspiring for us. We wrote a song, and then um, he has a studio at his house. So uh, we, we recorded a demo with him, and he produced mm -hmm. it. And yeah, it was, it was awesome. It was such a magical couple of days. We've written with quite a few different people, and it's that's been one of my favorite parts about this whole process uh, because you get to learn from them and, and see what makes them tick and see like their process. Musically, we didn't disagree like at all yeah. um, I mean we'll disagree about what food we're gonna make what movie we're gonna see but not about music we like we experiment back and forth a lot we'll write a song and have it and then we'll try and change it a bunch and go back to the beginning but rarely rarely ever do we disagree on something musically yeah I can't even think we get along of pretty well it.